Hello and welcome to another Crafter Need to Go program from Westerly Library in Wilcox Park. This week, for the second project in our Adult Summer Reading Craft series, we're making whale string art. As always, if you picked up a kit, you should have almost everything you need to complete the project. If you didn't receive a kit, you can still follow the tutorial at home after purchasing a few materials. Each kit comes with a 5 inch by 7 inch piece of wood, 60 linoleum nails, white and blue embroidery floss, white acrylic paint, a piece of foam, a whale tail pattern, and a thumbtack. In addition to the items in your kit, you will also need a hammer, the smaller the better, a pen or fine tip marker, and a pair of scissors. If you have a pair of needle nose or jewelry pliers, those would be helpful as well, but they're not necessary. Now that you have all your supplies, it's time to get started. Our first step is to paint our wood board. For a distressed look, dip your sponge very lightly in the paint, dabbing off any drips or extra paint. Lightly brush the wood so it's not fully covered in paint. You can add more to your foam when needed, but again, less is better for this look. Allow the paint to dry completely before moving on. The next step is to add our whale tail pattern. Cut out your pattern carefully, just outside of the white border. Center your pattern on the board, then tape down the corners. Use only as much tape as is absolutely necessary to keep the pattern from moving around. I used a small piece on the top left, the top right, and on the very bottom. Our next step is to add our nails to the board. First, draw small, evenly spaced dots around the entire whale tail, drawing them directly on the wood just outside of the pattern. For spacing, you can follow the dots that are on your pattern. They should be approximately a quarter of an inch apart. Next, use your thumbtack to make an indentation in each of the dots that you just drew. We do this because the nails we're using for this project are really small and you won't be able to hold them in place while hammering. The thumbtack indentation is enough that we can stand the nail up and hammer it without using our fingers to hold it in place. If you do have needle nose pliers, you can skip this step if you want. Once your indentations are done, you can carefully begin inserting and hammering your nails. Try to nail them straight down and keep them even. If you do have pliers, you can use them to hold your nails in place while you hammer. This will help them go in straighter. Continue adding the nails all around your pattern. Again, try to nail them as evenly as possible, but it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. The nails should be deep enough that you can push them with your finger and they won't fall out or wiggle, but not so deep that you won't be able to wrap the string around them. Now that your nails are in place, we can remove the pattern. Carefully begin tearing away the pattern. You can do this in small pieces. It's best not to do it all at once. Try to avoid pulling it upwards as it could dislodge the nails and pull them out as well. This is especially true where, where the tape is. Instead, carefully tear it away from the nail. At this point, your project should look more or less like this. A nice outline of a whale tail with nails that are firmly hammered in but sticking out of the wood quite a bit. It's finally time to start adding our string. We'll start with the blue. Begin on a corner. I'm starting on the bottom left side of the tail. Tie a tight knot around one of the nails, double knotting it if you're able. You wanna make sure that the knot doesn't come loose when you pull on it. Begin wrapping your string around the nails. You wanna wrap it around a nail that is across from rather than next to the one that you are beginning with. You'll also want to make sure that it wraps around the nail completely. This means that you may be wrapping counterclockwise sometimes and clockwise other times. Other than this, there is no right way to wrap the string. Slowly work your way up the tail, moving in sections to fill it in. 
Start by wrapping most of the nails only once until they have all been hit. Once most of your nails have been wrapped, you can add a second layer by moving around your tail again. You should have more than enough string to do this. Once you're running low on string, or if you're satisfied with how the inside of your whale tail looks, you can tie your string tightly around a nail and trim off the tail. Finally, it's time to use our white string. You will have less white string to work with because we're only using it for the outline. Similar to the blue string, start by tying a knot on a corner nail. Use a different nail than the one that you started with the blue though. For my project, I started on the bottom right hand side of the whale tail with the white string. Move to the nail directly to the left of the one you're starting on and wrap your string around it once counterclockwise. Continue moving to the left and wrapping each nail in turn until you have gone completely around the pattern. Then tie off your string and cut the end of the string off again. If you have enough white string left, you can always add a second outline layer, but it's not necessary. And with that, you're done. I hope you enjoyed your craft afternoon to go. As always, please feel free to reach out to us with any questions, comments, or feedback. Call us at 401-596-2877, extension 306, or email reference at westerlylibrary.org.